So in previous session, we learned about how to solve equations with fractions. So in this session, we are going to learn about how to solve equations with decimals, right? So first of all, we will try to remove the decimal, right? Let's learn the basics of the decimal. How do we remove the decimal? Just few basic idea. Let's say I have a number 1.2 and I want to remove the decimal here. So what I will be doing, I will be writing number without decimal. Afterwards, afterwards, I will see how many places are there after decimal, right? So after decimal, there is only one number. So I will be writing one zero and one before it. So 12 over 10 is a fraction form. Let's do one more problem. You can do on your own. 2.35 and if I remove decimal over here first step I told you write without decimal as it is that is 235 over how many places after decimal there are two so two zeros and one before it right so we are going to use this concept to remove the decimal over here and convert this equations into fraction form okay so let's start with it let me start with the first equation so this will become 2x over 10 y 10 because there is only one place then plus as it is here 3y over 10 and here 13 over 10 right let me write second equation that is 4x over 10 y 10 think about it because there is only one decimal place then 0 0.5 so it will become 5y over 10 is equal to 23 over 10 now we have not still got the equation in whole number form we have equations in fractions form so how to remove it we learned that in previous section recall what we did okay to remove the decimal we multiplied each and every term with the help of LCM right so if you see decimal uh, denominator is common in all I mean both of the equations which is 10 so what I will be doing, I will be multiplying both equations with the help of 10, each and every term, right? So I will be getting equation in whole number form. So let's start. So this time I multiply this over here first. So 10 multiply by 4x over 10 plus 10 multiply by 5y over 10 is equal to 10 multiply by 23 over 10 right and let me write this second equation here that is 10 multiply by 2x over 10 then plus 10 multiply by 3y over 10 is equal to 10 multiply by 13 over 10 right now very easily we can do cancellation of 10 right this this right all tens can get cancelled out so now my equations it is only 4x over here then plus 5y then only 23 here 2x plus 3y and here 13 right so you can see our equation was in decimal form we have converted into fractions and that fraction form we have converted into whole number forms right so right now we have four methods to choose from to get the solution you can use graphical method you need graph paper for that remember you need substitute otherwise you can solve substitution method elimination method or cross multiplication method any method you can choose right i am choosing again substitution method so coefficients i told you coefficients are very important for sub, uh, for the elimination method so 4 over here and 2 so not same coefficients 5 and 3 again not same right so i need to make them equal first of all right so if i multiply if i want to eliminate 5 i need to multiply 3 here and 5 into second equation but see there is a we can still reduce the number of steps right think about it how we can reduce the number of steps if you are eliminating x right that is more easier think about it see reason behind is 4x is here and 2x right so if i multiply this number with 2 this will become 4x 
right 4x 4x coefficients are same right so as you have coefficients are same you need to check one thing uh, they are having same sign or different sign based on that we are going to do addition and subtraction so let's start I'm multiplying this equation with the help of 2 remember this 2 should be multiplied with each and every term in a proper way so 2 will be multiplied over here so that is 4x then 2 will be multiplied with 3y so that will be 6y and 2 will be multiplied with 13 that is 26 right now let me rewrite that equation again here so that is 4x then plus 5y is equal to what 23 so I am going to subtract these equations can you guess why remember that which variable I am going to eliminate I am going to eliminate x over here not y remember you can see that's why I have uh, done both coefficients as same which is 4 as they are having same signs I need to subtract it so this 4x will become negative plus will become negative and this plus will also become negative so 4x and this 4x will get cancelled what's left only only y is left plus 6y and this is the new sign of 5y I always remind you to do it please remember this is the new sign of 5y plus is a very old sign we are not going to consider it for simplification plus 6y and minus 5y that will give you y only and 26 minus 23 that will give you 3 so my solution for y is 3 now I need to get the value of another variable which is x so let's substitute in any of the equation any of the equation will work let me substitute in this one 4x plus 5y 4x plus 5y is equal to 23 so I am going to substitute value of y is equal to 3 in this equation you can get the value of x very simple step so 4 into x as it is 5 into 3 is equal to 23 so 4x plus 5 3 za which is 15 is equal to 23 I will be shifting this 15 over this side so 4x is equal to 23 minus 15 what will you get if you subtract simple simple calculation right remember you should be very well with all the small calculations which is 8 so x is equal to 8 over 4 so value of x is 2 so my solution for x is 2 and my solution for y is 3 let's recall the steps so first step what I did I've converted decimal form into the fraction forms with the help of conversion decimal into fraction remember this key steps this is how you need to do it based on the number of places after decimal then after getting into fraction forms I need to remove the fractions so I have multiplied each and every term with the help of LCM right after that you get the equation in whole number form here you can do any method to solve these two equations elimination method substitution method graphical method or cross multiplication method I have solved this equation with the help of elimination method so I have done the coefficients of x as 4 then I have subtracted I got the value of y substitute in any of the equation and get the value of x so this is how you solve when you have equations in the form of decimals